Hey, family, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. How you feeling? <laughs> Got the stress level down? Hope all is well with you. I hope that uh, those of us who are taking care of our parents and have to check on elderly people are making sure they stay safe, keeping yourself safe from this um, epidemic, pandemic that uh, we are experiencing. So I hope all is going well with us and y'all out there. I wanted to make reference to, you know, some things that, you know, just been going down the pike, like Donald Dump saying that he won't relinquish power and he don't know. He got to see how this ballot thing goes uh, before he decides if he's going to leave office or not, which I think is trifling because, like I said, Donald Trump is not the problem. He's a symptom of what is really going on. And those of us, those who have eyes, let them see. Okay? This is white supremacy's last grasp at power, trying to hang on to it. They're going all out now. The Republican Party, who used to be the party of Lincoln, uh, who um, I grew up with Republicans, and I never remember them perform in this way because I at the end of the day I think we all have conservative views and I think we all have liberal views about certain things but I don't marry myself to any party and neither should you because a bipartisan person is a better person uh all that all this and it's all based in the same white supremacy is not is not the way to go. It's not a fair assessment of you being a healthy individual. Okay? When you look at Nancy Pelosi and all those people down there and how they, the the big uh, Democrats and how they just take corporate money, just like the Republicans, they all trying to preserve their wealth. They don't stop Donald Trump like they could if they really were for the people. Okay? So, you have to have an independent party or as far as I'm concerned, black people need their own party. But, we got to participate in local elections. Just like I got to get out in my town because we have to get rid of uh, Chisholm. He keep he ran a poll, I think, last time with uh, Swanigan, Verby Swanigan, who was um, uh, uh, an officer who worked with Eric Benet's father for a long time. Um, uh, but uh, this right here, we have to keep these. Remember, all local, uh, all elections are local. For those that don't believe in voting and things like that, I say it work. I say local politics work. And if you had everybody in your corner on a local issue, you think Donald Trump could be running around here talking about Republican governors or this, that, and the other? I'm saying. And another thing, when you start talking about what Joe Biden said 40 years ago. I said a lot of things 40 years ago that I changed my mind about. A lot of y'all say that Farrakhan killed Malcolm X. Um, and I always tell you, just like he said, just like any of y'all out there, especially if there's any men under, in here, when y'all in y'all 20s, y'all testosterone is running so far and good. Y'all like to fight. Y'all like to, you like that, brothers. You like to fight. You like to um uh, see who's the best. You like that prowess type of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So you think I'm going to hold that man accountable at 50-something years old or 70, at 80 at this point, of some words he might have said when he was in his 20s? Are you kidding me? If God bless y'all, want y'all might get old. At the rate y'all going, though, y'all ain't living too long, no way, because of your, your, your madness. But for those of y'all who are blessed with longevity, see if you feel the same way. 40, 30 years from now, as you feel today, especially if you're in your 20s. Check with me when you're in your 60s. Because I certainly don't feel the same way I felt in my 20s. In the, um, in the 20s, I believe that, I believed, um, or, or younger than that, that all the dogma I had 
I sincerely believed that the white man was the devil. And you couldn't convince me. You see what I'm saying? Now I know that the devil is the elite. Where he got a black face on it or a white face on it. Because those kings and stuff over there in Africa that is being engulfed with white supremacy. You would think they got the numbers. And they and they on their own homeland. And they were letting white supremacy run them. Right? Okay. So it's a little bit more. The head of the snake. To me. Um, you know. It's, it's just, it's just got to be dealt with. Because white supremacy is, is um, international. You know, it's just not local based. But again, all politics are. So I'm still voting. I voted already. And I realized that all politics are local. So, you know, I wanted to see Lena Taylor and I wanted to see Gwen Moore. Uh, there are programs. But a lot of them go in there with such bright ideas. You understand what I'm saying? And once they get there, once they get there, they see when they really try to do something for their community, it really is just like a change or an exchange of ideas or a compromise. Or, um, I'll let you put up, I'm just going to make up something. I'll let you put up some barriers around the swimming pool. Well, we'll allow y'all to do that if you uh, fingerprint your children. In daycare. So you're stuck with the lesser of two evils and you know that 90% of the children in your city is black are in daycare. It's a trade-off. Politics is a dirty game. Um, most of the narcissists and the sociopaths and the personality disorder people are right there in that game just like they are in uh, show business. Most of the positions of power, you're going to see that kind of behavior. You know, and those of y'all who gravitate towards bossing the people around, telling them what to do, being mean to somebody, y'all fit in that group too. Because most of us feel like John Lennon. Let it be. Let it be. Okay. I don't want to go on because I know y'all probably think I'm crazy at this point, and I love it. <laughs> But with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, I wanted to share this article with you. You know, this 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 article is about Ilhan Omar Omar, and Ilhan, I just hope that uh you continue to keep fighting, keep fighting the good fight, sister girl. You're doing wonderful work for your uh, constituents. And the fact that you're a Muslim from Somalia is an accomplishment and is enough to keep people like Donald Trump and other people who really, really think that they own this country in their place. Because somehow they've lost track that the Native American was here first. So that's how sick these people are. And you have to continue to remind them that this is not your country. You stole it like you steal every god darn thing else. OK, and so you may not put a state claim on something that's never yours. OK, so um, let's start right here. What, what she says, because what she says is, is very it's disturbing, to say the least. Ilhan Omar says she loves the U.S. way more than the president and that Trump's campaign trail attacks have led to threats against her life. OK, although he called the servicemen. Uh, losers, right? Minnesota Representative Ilhan Omar hit back at Donald Trump saying she loves this country more than he does on Sunday. She slammed Trump for saying Friday and Saturday on the campaign trail that she hates this country. Look at the, the propaganda this guy spews, and he's allowed to get away with it. But you took Alex Jones off the air. I can't believe this. Yeah, you know, I, I can't. Um, and she slammed the president for saying, um, also that because she was born in Somalia, she's not really a true American. 
Ilhan Omar, who truly hates our country, but she's one of the reasons we're going to win this great state, Trump says Saturday at a Michigan rally. Um, it's really also a, just astonishing to see the way in which he characterizes what love for this country is, she said. I will certainly reckon not only with Somalis, but myself, the governor of Michigan and our speaker all love this country way more than our president, Omar, oh, Ilhan Omar said on Sunday in an interview with uh, Joshua Johnson of MSNBC. She also added that Trump is not only destroying the presidency, but everything, everything that this country stands for. She said, I would certainly reckon not only Somalians, but myself and the governor of Michigan, our speaker, that we all love this country more than the president. He has attacked Il Ahan Omar several times in his campaign trail, now just 16 days away from election. Um, I do believe that love, love is truly stronger than hate, even though these people and, and circumstances can make you feel that it ain't. All of us got here through it. Um, and I still believe it's the hardest thing to do, but it's the only thing that the creator requires us to do. And as an artist, I got to stick to that. I can't let that go. But people that are outdated, like Donald Dump and the elite of this country, who is hell bent on holding on to the whiteness, and they don't, they can't take, they can't take the browning of America. You might as well get used to it. They're stacking these courts. So, you know, all the rights of people that's Adolf will not be a factor. We can take it back to the days of reconstruction and um, slavery without the physical chains. If we can control all these govern government seats. This is the foundation. This is the blueprint for white supremacy. And none of us that are people of color have any, and black, brown, we don't got nothing to be um, even trying to explain to these people. They know what it is. They know what it is. So anybody that asks you, oh, why do you think, do you think he's racist? Just say, you know, what do you think? You know, oh, don't even answer. Refuse to answer it. Nobody got time for these games. And the words and the evilness that he's spewing out of his mouth is putting people's lives in danger. And this is all we can expect from the president of the free world, the commander in chief. Y'all really must, y'all, whoever voted for him, whoever put him in office, um, because there's no way in the world he showed you who he was already. So I just say those of y'all who uh, 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 voted for him, and if he tears this country all down to the, down, ripping up from the beginning, down to the fabric, because you can't control him now. He's a, he's he's gone rogue. All I can say is you deserve just what you got. We all, I mean, y'all deserve that. And now we all are going to pay the price for this particular uh, situation to show itself and to go down the drain in a hurry. You know, so election is only a few days away. We're going to see what happens. And, um, Ooh, I'll see y'all in the next video. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.